Hello, Fig family. Today's Sunday. Uh, we're just doing a little, just a little gander and see what's growing on here. I, uh, I see I had to add some more netting because uh, some of my figs that I had ripened and was just waiting to, that extra day. Senior birdie or squirrely got a hold of them and uh, So I added some more netting uh, Here we have uh, I'm gonna change it around here Here we have I Guess you can see that that's actually an Olympian that's ripening and one that's swelling right beside it there's a bunch of more of them on there uh and we have another laterula that's just about there and we've got two LSU goals starting to to get right. Uh, seems like I'm missing one somewhere. Huh. I am missing one. What the hell happened? Oh. Guess I wasn't looking in the right place. There it is right there. So I figure this one up here uh, it has about two or three days this one down here uh, it's close to the same so we'll check them out here in a couple more days uh, I had some more Malta Blacks that were ready and some more uh Ronde de Bardos, but like I said, I had some kind of little odd sparrow looking birds. Uh, looked like them by the body, but the coloration was like a light brown checkered kind of bird. And uh I saw them going from fig tree to fig tree just messing around wherever the figs seem to be ripe and I think that was my my uh, culprit now some of these are citrus and some are uh, let's get over here oh what the heck is that oh. this is my let me see, this is a LSU Holly Air. Some people say Holly A. If you pronounce it like it's spelled, it's Holly Air. And I have a bunch of different stuff in here. A lot of this stuff uh, is the same age as everything over there, except uh, I had uh, up potted this stuff later you know these were the, the the smallest of the group and now they're shit, they've caught and possibly passed some of the uh, the larger ones that I had these over here uh, this is a this is a white Madeira number one and that baby's loaded down see this is i want to say a g yeah uh genovis genovis af this one here is a huh oh that's a black madeira and this one is Figo Preto. I should have two or three Figo Pretos. 
I think I've got maybe four, possibly five black Madeiras. Uh, one of the largest ones that I have. Well, maybe not the largest, but this one right here, not the largest by a long shot, is a black Bethlehem. And then we have a, this is the, this tall one here is a GM 300. And the tallest one of all, right here, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a Caponeri. Yes, I think I've got like three of them. And this right here is a black Tuscan. I really, I don't know. This right here, I don't know what this one is. Wow, I don't even see the, oh my goodness, huh. what is this, oh, oh, this is a abuku, I think that's a French fig, oh, uh. Pull some of this stuff back over. Make sure I got good coverage on on this side. Uh, well, like I said, uh, this was sort of uh, while I wasn't really doing anything. I thought huh, I'm gonna run out here and just take a look, see. I started watering today and then all of a sudden came a downpour. It's really the second little bit of rain we had in about two months. So I know they appreciate it quite a bit. These are some air layers right here. I've got four of them two violet de bordeaux and two yellow long necks uh, kind of like to know what this one is oh shit i might have to take that tag this ah this tall one here is a lsu scott's black and let's see this one here is a figo preto and when did i stick those oh, I, I gotta see if i can see it on this one here i stuck those in january well anyway fig family that's the Sunday's update. Alright, we'll talk to you later on. Goodbye.